JWST has just detected a brand new asteroid the size of Rome's Colosseum, and it did it completely by accident. An international team were using data from the telescope, and when they looked at it closely, they saw probably the smallest object yet detected by JWST. Also in this video, we'll cover this incredibly beautiful galactic vista, and the news that another of JWST's instruments briefly suffered an outage, but this one was probably caused by a cosmic ray. First, the asteroid. It's between 300 and 650 feet long, or between 1 and 200 meters, and was detected when the team were looking at calibration data from the mid-infrared instrument MIRI on board JWST. This wasn't a direct image, the asteroid is much too small for that, even for JWST. So any images I or anyone shows you of an impressive asteroid are all artists' impressions in this case. Instead, when looking at older calibration data, the team noticed an interloper getting in the way. Originally, this data was taken purely to test MIRI's filters, and actually were considered failed data because of the brightness of the target and some technical details about how the telescope was pointed. The target wasn't even this new asteroid, nor was it hunting for new asteroids, but rather it was pointing at a larger, previously known asteroid called 10920-1998, BC1. The new, currently unnamed asteroid is likely the smallest object yet detected by JWST, and joins a rare group of asteroids that are less than a kilometre wide in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. That's over 100 million kilometres from us. It's amazing that JWST can see something so small at that huge distance. More observations will be needed to confirm its exact properties like orbit, precise size, composition and so on, and an observation or two from another telescope would be needed to officially confirm its existence. But for now, this is a great clue. However, this new way of detecting small objects is likely to result in many more discoveries coming over the years. Even when JWST takes failed data, it somehow succeeds. We already knew of about 1.1 million asteroids in the belt, and now we know of one more. From random successes to random failures. In January 2023, NIRIS, the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph on JWST, experienced a communications delay. This caused its flight software to time out and basically stop the instrument working. It was never in any real danger, it just wasn't quite behaving as it should. This happened on January 15th, and on January 28th, they got everything working just fine once again. How did they do it? Well, they did what all good engineers do, and they turned it off and on again. To be fair, it worked perfectly, and now Neris is back observing as normal, and all the observations it missed in this downtime will be rescheduled in the future. The interesting thing here is that the team has concluded that the fault was caused by a cosmic ray. Basically, they think high-energy radiation hit the telescope, and by chance disrupted the electronics of Neris. Cosmic rays are common and an expected part of a space telescope's life, and usually they don't cause too much harm at all. I'll quote the NASA blog here, which says that the galactic cosmic ray affected the logic in the solid state circuitry of Neris electronics known as the field programmable gate array. I think it basically means that the cosmic rays randomly flipped a bit or two, so turned a 0 to a 1 or vice versa in the binary code of JWST, and this caused a problem. The easiest way to fix it? Reboot it. The most interesting cosmic ray bit flip that I know of before this is one that impacted a Mario 64 speedrun. What the? What the? Did you get invisible walls? What? Please say you got invisible No, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen though. If you don't know the story, I'll leave a link in the description to a great video that describes it, but it's pretty cool the effect that space radiation can have on all aspects of computers. Luckily, all is now well, and JWST is at full observing capacity once again. Finally, we've also seen a beautiful field of galaxies. The real jewel here is the large spiral galaxy in the bottom corner, which comes with a smaller companion too. This big galaxy is named Leader 2046648. Wow, making these videos really does make me say lots of weird words and strings of numbers out loud. And this galaxy is about 1 billion light years away from Earth in the Hercules constellation. The rest of the view is made up of every kind of galaxy you can imagine, and the odd bright foreground star from our own galaxy too. The stars are the objects that come with the bright diffraction spikes, like this for example. But everything else here is a galaxy that's an island of billions of stars in the universe. Take a moment to enjoy the huge range of colours, shapes and sizes here. We have everything from well-resolved spirals, 
all the way back to mere smudges on the sky, which are the most distant galaxies in the image, many of which will be billions of years old. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay safe, team. I'll see you soon. Bye!